Now, still in the country, the police minister says that cash in transit robberies have, have reduced rather by 63% in June compared to the month of May. But just hours before addressing that briefing, there was yet another successful attack on a cash in transit vehicle with the attackers again using explosives to blow up and get access to the back of the truck. Now, the thieves escaped with an undisclosed amount of money. Angela Coppola has the details. The cash in transit industry is also fighting back with technology to tackle the scourge. The authorities want the entire cash in transit industry to embrace the technology that's been developed. We are happy that so far that out of the three big companies, uh, two are already uh, using the, the system fully and the other one is actually halfway there. So the big companies are using it. You are now uh, engaging with those that are involved in transporting cash from retail shops. They are also coming, coming on board. But you need legislation to enforce the implementation of the technology. I strongly believe that it is significant and important that this technology uh, forms part and parcel of the standard requirements in the pickup and transportation of cash. Two systems were recently demonstrated which will, the developers say, frustrate criminals attempting to enter vehicles. A foam-based vault protection system and a cross-pavement carrier. Uh, when the criminals try and blast open the safe, uh, the, the blast is absorbed and they can't get their hands on the money because it's encased in solid foam. The cash defender and that has ink dye stain in it so when the guard is attacked and the, the device is stolen from the guard the box goes into activation and it stains the money inside uh, the box with ink. Uh, that's regulated by the Reserve Bank uh, it has to get to 100% of the notes and 40% of the surface area of each note. Analysts and industry leaders say that technology is only part of the solution. The fight against CIT robberies is not only the sole responsibility of the police or the CIT companies. Everyone must get involved. And I'm delighted that we in South Africa are now taking the lead. We have the technology available and we need to use the technology. A stained note is a stolen note, pure and simple. It's a mantra that's applied internationally where dye is used to protect money from being stolen. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.